Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, the summer is ending, and uh, finally, I have some time to uh, maybe make a video here about um, uh, Open V Switch V XLAN connectivity to the big IP. Uh, so we have a customer. Uh, they are using, they are integrating OpenShift uh, with um, um, Big IP uh, 4000 uh, platform. So they have an, a VXLAN network connectivity issue because uh, their uh, pod IP cannot be resolved uh, uh, by the Big IP. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so uh, I wanted to set up in the lab to validate uh, if uh, open uh, if open v switch VXLAN network uh, work with a uh, uh, platform uh, big IP plan for four thousand big IP or not. Uh, but I don't want to set up OpenShift because uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, in my in my opinion it's it's difficult to set up. I mean I have tried. Um, but uh, I have tried to set up OpenShift with VXLAN, uh, with the uh, Open vSwitch VXLAN network. Uh, it's it's not a trivial task, so I, I decided to not uh, go into that uh, path instead, uh, since I just want to uh, validate uh, OpenShift. Uh, no, I, I just want to validate uh, open vSwitch VXLAN uh, integration with Big IP VXLAN. So I think, yeah, maybe I just just uh, set up uh, Open vSwitch uh, in a virtual machine and uh, do a quick uh, uh, validation. Um, I thought that's a creative part because uh, uh, forget about the Open Shift, just o use Open vSwitch directly and then set up. Um, uh, network namespace uh, instead of a uh, running container or pod using OpenShift. Okay, so uh, that's the background. And uh, so here I have a, I have a Ubuntu a virtual machine that's I'm going to deploy Open, open vSwitch. And this is a big IP uh, forty two hundred, and uh, so the customer says it works with the uh, uh, big IP V from VCM VCMP guest or other big IP, not forty two hundred. So what's special about forty two hundred? I'm wondering. Uh, I don't think it's uh, any special here on this platform except uh, except the uh, 4200 use the uh, uh, Intel uh, 10G uh, network interface with a uh, virtual function provision. Yeah. So other than that, I don't. I don't. I can't think of a. Uh, anything special for the VXLAN network to work. So anyway, I just want to do a quick validation. And uh, so I have uh, two script here. Let's see, make sure, okay. I have two script here. Uh, one is to set up an open v switch on the Ubuntu. Uh, let's look at the script. So before I uh, create anything, I just uh, remove any namespace and uh, and uh, open this switch bridge. So here I started to create an open this switch bridge. Uh, add a, add a network namespace. Create a network namespace in S one and uh, add a port uh, in int one. And it said the type to internal interface int1 type internal. So 
we can uh, later we can go to see why I use uh, uh, type internal and so this is just uh, assign this uh, internal uh, interface to the um, uh, network namespace NS1 just think of a network namespace NS1 as a container in OpenShift or in Kubernetes uh, then assign an IP uh, assign an IP address uh, to the uh, INT1 uh, the in internal type port uh, in namespace 1 uh, bring up the link uh, so here is the VXLAN part to add the uh, VXLAN port uh, to the OVS bridge then set the uh, interface type as VXLAN and the remote IP uh, remote uh, VTAP uh, IP with uh, self IP on big IP VLAN so we want to make VXLAN collection with the big IP see that that's about it and uh, very quick so I just like show the result after I so let's run this bash script so uh, here is the we show the IP address in the namespace one. Uh, as you can see, the, the the internal type port INT one is assigned to namespace one with IP address ten zero zero ten. And uh, so this is a o OBS bridge setup. Uh, it has port member uh, internal port one, and uh, and also have the VXLAN port as port member in this OVS bridge. And uh, so this is uh, the link interface list on the Ubuntu virtual machine, and uh, this is the VXLAN interface. Uh, this is the underlay uh, interface, VXLAN interface. I'm going to uh, uh, pass pack through, and uh, yeah. So let's go to the so so this is a so this is a big IP bash script. I'm going to set up um, set up um, a VXLAN profile. As, as you deploy uh, a VXLAN uh, to OpenShift environment and uh, created a uh, VXLAN tunnel. Uh, oh, note here uh, of, with the uh, uh, VXLAN profile flood, flooding type as multipoint, which basically means uh, resolve the pod IP through dynamic uh, uh, ARP request reply. Uh, instead of uh, create a static ARP for part on the big IP like the Kubernetes uh, integration uh, not like a Kubernetes you know, in OpenShift we use the ARP request ARP reply so that's why flooding type multipoint and uh, so you uh, created the tunnel use uh, uh, a VXLAN identifier network identifier zero and uh, local address is the uh, self IP on the VLAN um, so create a self IP on the tunnel that's about it and um, so big IP TM shell cannot uh, manually create FDB entry uh, for the uh, OpenShift uh, VXLAN endpoint so uh, I just manually created this uh, uh, FDB record and uh, attached to the bigip.base.conf uh, appended to the uh, file, the bigip.base.conf file and then node the sysconfig file so yeah that's, uh, uh, that's about it and so with this two simple bash script I can test the VXLAN uh, Collectivity between Big IP and the Open switch for a quick validation. So let's run this on the Big IP. Oh. 
Isso vai pegar aqui. Uh, I already uh, did this one, so just remove it. Yeah, I think the this script. I think the when you when you delete the record here, it doesn't remove the. Like I did a previous previous test, uh, when I deleted this record, by it can't delete it from the config file. So when you uh, do it is do the run this script the second time, it it is continue to append uh, this this guy. So it complains, and Just maybe remove it, remove them all, and re rerun the script. Hmm. Huh, okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I should give a mattress there. Yeah, I should give a mattress there. Cause uh, we, we needed to give this uh, on the Ubuntu VXLine interface. We want to create the FTP record for this uh, VXLine. That'll work. So, yeah. Give it a, as an argument to the bash script. Okay. So, let's show FDB. Right, so it's the FTP is uh, added. Let's show net ARP. Do we have any ARP record for for the pod? No, uh, for the uh, IP address in the Linux uh, uh, namespace. So here. If we go into the namespace, if we go into the uh, Linux uh, uh, Ubuntu Virtual Machine namespace NS1, so just sync it, sync it as a container, right? It, it has its own IP address, own uh, network uh, network interface. So this is the IP address. We want to pin this IP address uh, from the big IP and see if it can get a, a proper ICMP uh, reply and get a proper ARP uh, resolution for that uh, IP address, right? Just think, think of NS1 as a container. It, it is actually a contain, the underlying uh, uh, Linux network namespace for container. So, so in the in the root 
in the root uh, namespace, you do not see an IP address for the 10.0.0.10 because this is a in Ubuntu virtual machine root namespace. But we go to the network namespace as one. Uh, we have the 10.0.0.10. So just think of it as conceptually, I think of it as a container in an OpenShift or in Kubernetes. So we want to pin the IP address in the container or the pod from big IP VXLAN tunnel. And uh, no ARP for the IP now. Let's pin. Okay, we got a pin, right? So let's show the ARP. Okay, so the ARP is resolved properly. Uh, resolved. And uh, let's show FDB. So there is also FDB entry for the for the Linux network namespace NS1. So that's the underlay uh, endpoint IP, and this is a this is a, a, a MAC address for the for the uh, IP for the namespace one, right? So BFCF. Okay, so in namespace one, IP MAC BFCF, right? So it seems uh, that this big IP platform should work properly with um, with uh, open v switch uh, VXLAN. So there's something wrong in customer side. Uh, uh, I'm thinking maybe their their FTP entry, the static, uh, the the FTP entry, uh, is not set up properly. Maybe it's not added properly, uh, either in their network or uh, by the uh, controller collector of F5. But um, but anyway, I uh, my point is I just want to do a quick. Uh, uh, VXLAN uh, connectivity validation between Big IP uh, Plan for 4200 and uh, Open V switch. Yeah. So speaking of uh, so noticed the internal so Open V switch. Let's go to Open V switch. And uh, so why we are using uh, why we are using a port. Uh, INT1 as a type internal and assign it to the namespace one and uh, so this is a good uh, this is a good uh, uh, open v switch deep dive uh, uh, series uh, uh, from from a blog so this is a, a, a very good blog explaining how open v switch works uh, here, deep dive six. It explains the internal port, and uh, if we go to the network diagram here, so so this diagram is actually uh, to explain uh, how it might works in the Kubernetes environment, because uh, 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 in my Kubernetes, uh, uh, it will set up the. Um, uh, virtual Ethernet pair. Uh, one is in the uh, container namespace. Another one is in the root namespace. And as a and this uh, this this uh, virtual Ethernet will be a, a port member of a of open v switch uh, bridge. And um, yeah, but this is not how I set it up. Uh, this is for uh, I think for Kubernetes. If if but in my uh, no if Kubernetes is using open v switch I think it's OV, OVN uh, uh, it might be like this uh, but I'm not using this I'm using uh, uh, this way so sync container uh, with uh, internal port uh, int so think of this container as a network namespace, 
like my network namespace one, uh, instead of running OpenShift and or Kubernetes to run a full container or pod, I just yeah, set up a simple network namespace NS1 and uh, attach an internal port to type port uh, INT1 to the namespace. So this is how it works. Uh, it's good uh, reading and uh, I, I encourage you to, to read those uh, articles and uh, yeah.